السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته انا سعيده ان انا اول حد هيكلم ويلكم اور دير بروفيسورز كوليجز اند جيست فور اور 6 انترناشونال كونفرنس usually we start our uh, sessions with a basic session um, very interesting for junior staff uh, it will be about uh, some questions and answers uh, commonly uh, asked uh, by the mothers and the caregivers of epileptic patients uh, um, uh, Dr. Mohammed uh, Dali, uh, Professor Dr. Mohammed Dali, and uh, Dr. Olivia uh, tried very hard actually to search for a scientific uh, answers for these questions, uh, and I hope it will be uh, uh, fruitful, inshallah, and uh, useful for all of us. Welcome, Dr. Mohammed, Dr. Olivia. Dr. Mohammed is assistant uh, lecturer in Asyut University and Dr. Olivia assistant lecturer in our uh, in Shams University. Simple questions and simple answers in epilepsy. In this short video, what do you think is happening? Oh, dear doctor, just tell me what happened to my child. Could it be epilepsy rotation? Yes, according to the International League Against the Epilepsy official report, it's a seizure. But there's another uh, the definition of epilepsy include at least two unprovoked or reflex seizures occurring more than 24 hours apart, one unprovoked or reflex seizures and the probability of cursor seizure similar to the general uh, recurrence risk or at least the diagnosis of an epilepsy syndrome. Could epilepsy be cured? Do people have seizures forever? Up to 60% of people with epilepsy can control their seizure using medication. Some people have certain types of epilepsy that are age dependent or that result, for example, benign or lambic epilepsy that is now called benign epilepsy with central temporal spike or benign epilepsy of childhood with central temporal spike typically outgrow seizure in their teens. The International League Against Epilepsy in 2014 also defined epilepsy as being in result. If someone has been seizure free for 10 years and of anti seizure medication for at least five years, is there any food that I shouldn't give to my child? Generally speaking, people with epilepsy should be able to eat almost all kinds of food with no certain restriction. As long as you follow a balanced diet and consume food and drinks in moderation, that said, if you do notice that certain food can trigger this epilepsy or seizures for you, you should avoid them. The key is to find your own seizure triggers and avoid them. Here are some of the food and drinks that trigger epilepsy or trigger seizures in certain patients, including caffeine, coffee, tea, soda, and energy drinks, chocolates, sugar, too much salt and spices, animal protein, food coloring, food preservative, monosodium glutamate, and artificial sweeteners. Does that mean no caffeinated beverages are allowed? A study conducted in 2018 about caffeine and seizure. The use of caffeine by people with epilepsy is a missing evidence. They concluded that while animal studies suggest that caffeine can increase seizure susceptibility, it's unclear how this finding in animal models translate to human. But it should notice that caffeine might interact with several anti seizure medications, especially to pyramids. So, try to avoid caffeinated beverages in pediatric patients. It would lead to decreased sleep, 
quality and duration, which would lead to receipt. Also, allergy drink as a trigger factor for seizure in pediatric is the case reference showed that in, uh, the energy drink could be the, an, another important uh, source of caffeine and adolescents now. Do I take my seizure, my anti seizure medication before or after food? In this study about pharmacokinetic characteristics of anti epileptic drugs in 2016, for most anti seizure medications, co administration with food can slow the absorption rate, but this does not have a clinically relevant effect on the extent of absorption. Therefore, most anti seizure medication can be administered with or without food. Co administration with food can be a helpful strategy to, a strategy to reduce GI irritation and the dose dependent adverse effects and thus can improve drug tolerability of such anti-seizure medication. Mm -hmm. What if I miss the dose? A study was conducted uh, about pharmacokinetic characteristic of anti-epileptic drugs showed that <coughs> it's quite common for people with epilepsy to miss a single dose once a while. Often nothing bad happens, but your chance of having seizure may be higher. So missing one dose is more likely to cause seizure if you are scheduled to take your medication only once a day. Then if you miss a dose, you have missed the full day medication. If you take it four to two uh, times a day, uh, the risk from missing one dose is less. But if you miss several doses in a row, the likelihood of breaking through a seizure will be higher. Once a day, take a forget and dose as soon as, as possible you remember. Twice a day, take the forgotten dose. If you remember, within six hours after it was due. Otherwise, do not take the forgotten dose and just take the next dose at the due time. So it's important that if you miss a dose, you don't take twice as much as the next dose time. Taking a larger dose than normal will cause side effects. If you find that you regularly forget your medication, so there are many memory aids and techniques that might Should I take another dose if I am sick, vomited, or having diarrhea? In this study of vomiting of oral medication by pediatric patient survey of medication redosing practices in 2012, this study concluded that the risk of therapeutic failure if a dose is not readministered but has not been absorbed because of vomiting must be weighed against the risk of toxic effects should the dose be readministered when in fact it was absorbed. So the decision should probably be made on a case-by-case -case basis for pediatric inpatient. So as a general rule, within one hour of taking medication, if vomiting has happened, take another dose. But if more than one hour after taking the medication, wait till the next dose. When you increase... Sorry, when you increase the dose, how long does it take to work? Also, the pharmacokinetic characteristic of anti epileptic drug study was conducted in 2016, showed that this very from anti one anti seizure medication to another and depends on the half life of the drug. Generally, you can see the effect of increase in five half life times. So, if the half life of anti seizure medication is 24 hours, so you will see the effect after five days, five times 24 hours. My epileptic child is coughing. Can I give him over the counter medication or not? In this study about histamine and seizures, implications for the treatment of epilepsy, experimental studies have indicated that the central histaminergic neuron system plays an important role in inhibition of seizures through a stimulation of histamine H1 receptors, especially in the developmental period. This has therapeutic implications for currently available drugs that act as histamine receptors, H1 receptor antagonists, including classical antihistamines and including first and second generation. These are some of the examples of the over-the-counter cuff medications that would precipitate seizures in epileptic patients, including first generation antihistamine carbon, uh, carbinoxamine and ketotyphin. Also, this study about H2 receptor antagonists with conventional anti-epileptic drugs in mice said that 
Although the interaction of H2 receptor antagonists with anti-epileptic drug is less expressed when compared to H1 receptor, it should be used in caution as required when while using the drug in epileptic patient. Can antibiotics cause seizure? Study conducted in 2020 antibiotic induced epileptic seizure mechanism of action and the clinical consideration. The study showed that penicillin, kefalosporin, and penicillin, isoniazide, all could trigger seizure with different mechanisms such as direct antagonists, direct binding together, or even indirect binding within cell. Also, bent, also through benzodiazepine receptor binding. So it's better to avoid penicillin. These are drug to drug interactions between antibiotics and specific anti seizure medication. So it's better to use the antibiotic according to your patient and which, which type of anti seizure medication is controlled. Could it affect his social or academic performance? In this study about school performance in children at the time of new onset seizures in 2022 and long-term follow-up a retrospective cohort of studies, they found in conclusion that if it was found that children with new onset seizures had a similar rate of school performance at the onset of seizures, but with ongoing time and patient with recurrent seizure with at risk for more school performance difficulties than children without seizures, and in a relatively small number of patients, we observed that children with seizures and those with chronic psychiatric disorders had similar rates of school performance difficulties. So can video games and mobile phone cause seizures? In fact, this is an article about one of the games that caused seizures in one of the epileptic patients called Cyberpunk 2077 is an example of video game games and seizure. In fact, video games can cause seizures, and this is due to one, photosensitivity, as patient between three and five percent of the patient have photosensitive epilepsy, and this can trigger this. Tiredness, video games can be of little addictive, and it can be easy to spend hours playing them. Stress or excitement, video games that are scary, stressful, frustrating, or which overstimulate the player in some other way could cause seizures. Loud noises or music, as most of the games have repetitive soundtracks that also can precipitate the happiness of seizure. These are some of the recommendations for the preventing seizures in epileptic patients while using electronic devices, including television screens. Watch television at a well-lit room, reduce the brightness, and sit as far back from the screen as possible. Use the remote control instead of changing channels on the TV. This is an old advice. So you won't have to get too close to the set. Avoid watching for long periods and wear polarized sunglasses. For video games, sit at least two feet from the screen. Reduce the brightness of the screen. Do not let the children play games if they are tired and take frequent breaks. Turn the game off if strange or, un strange or unusual feelings or body jerks develop. For computer monitors, wear non-glare glasses to reduce glare from the screen and take frequent breaks from tasks involving computers. Can I practice sport? Let the children play. A study conducted in 2016 uh, about the sport and physical activity in your lives. The study concluded that there is no rationale to support general ban on sport for patients with epilepsy. As general rule, individual risk assessment should be performed for each particular case. Most sports are safe for people with epilepsy to do, even if seizures are not fully controlled. It's better to stay safe by wearing helmet, knee, elbow bag, so we write protective gear for each sport. Repeated for concussion are not good for anyone. Take frequent drink, exercise in a small amount, drink blends of food. <coughs> what about where sport? Water sport. Water sport, including swimming, snorkeling, jet ski riding, windsurfing, and sailing are risky for patients with epilepsy. Following accommodation could be life saving as wearing high quality, properly fit life vest. Always have a body with swimming or water sport. What to avoid? 
people with uncontrolled seizures should avoid dangerous activity like scuba diving, rock climbing, skydiving, hang climbing, and mountain climbing. This sport requires full concentration, and any episode of loss over consciousness may lead to injury and possible death. Epilepsy and menses. Treatment for seizure in catamantial menstrual related epilepsy. Study conducted in 2019, catamantial epilepsy described worse seizure in relation to menstrual cycling may affect around 40% of women with epilepsy. Vulnerable days of the menstrual cycle for seizure are perimenstrual, ovulation, and at the retail phase. Unfortunately, still not solid evidence for the effectiveness for hormone therapy to reduce the risk of seizure growth through at the beginning of the menstruation. Adopting the dose of anti seizure medication before the time of the pre seizure, seizure medication should be only made with advice of your health care provider. Taking an additional seizure medication such as lorazepam for several days around the menstrual epilepsy and anesthesia. In epilepsy and anesthesia in 2011, Patients were advised to take the regular medication on the morning of surgery, and regular dosing should be established as early and as practicable after surgery. If a single dose is missed, such as on one day, one day case surgery, it should be taken as soon as possible after surgery. And where multiple doses are likely to be missed, and seizure medication should be taken parenterally. Multiple anti-seizure medications in uh, IV form are present, including sodium valproate, levetiracetam are available and uh, carbamazepin is available as a suppository. After surgery, whenever possible, the monitoring of plasma level of anti-epileptic drugs for at least 48 hours should be performed because there are significant variations in the apparent volume of distribution, like uh, linked to plasma proteins, hepatic metabolism, and renal metabolism. Can my epileptic child fast? Study conducted uh, about intermittent fasting uh, in 2012. Despite the popular theory that, that my epileptic child cannot fast, actually fasting has a neuroprotective effect and also some anti seizure property. This protection may be due to increased expression of the neuroprotective protein brain deprived neurotrophic effect. Can I die during a seizure? In epilepsy-related mortality is low in children, a 30-year population-based study, it was found that the death rate for people with epilepsy is two to three times that of general population, and this from a seizure is extremely rare, but it can occur. Seizures can cause accident as well as irregular heart rhythm. Do people with epilepsy have more accident than the general population? Epilepsy and the driving, the impact of transient impaired consciousness study conducted in 2014. This study estimated that people with epilepsy have an accident rate of between 1.13 and 2.16 times of that as normal time. However, the rate of fatal accident in people with epilepsy is lower than the highest risk of groups such as young driver and those who abuse and what are the restrictions for the people with epilepsy to get a driving license? International regulation for automobile driving and the epilepsy found that in the U.S. you must be seizure-free for at least six months, and doctors are obliged by law to inform any uh, patient with seizures who have driving license in the DMV. In some states, you should be at least 12 months seizure-free. In Germany, you must be free of seizures for two years to get a driving license. And in Egypt, in fact, you must be seizure free for two years to get driving license. And thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Mohammed and Dr. Olivia. Actually, they uh, did a good job uh, trying to answer most of the questions that uh, comes to our uh, minds when we are treating uh, an epileptic patient. Um, some of these uh, uh, questions, uh, it was difficult to find a scientific uh, answer for it, uh, but it's very common um, uh, in the epilepsy foundations and centers to have answers for this, so they uh, took it from there. Uh, 
um, actually no uh, uh, not all uh, epileptic uh, uh, mothers uh, the mothers of epileptic children know these questions so we have to tell them even if they didn't ask because they may uh, have an experience of one of these events and they should have a background what they sh they uh, what better to do uh, so we have to tell them any any doctor he has to tell the epileptic mother about these uh, uh, occasions and uh, events. Um, if there is any other uh, question in the audience. My election, stress to examination, family. LA. Yes. stressed by he wants to suck. هل انت هتزود الدور هنا ولا هتعمل ايه ولا مفيش مفيش مشكله ما ما هتتكلم دكتور يهام تتكلم سايكولوجيست سايكولوجيست طبعا يعني ذا اونلي ذا اونلي ريزن اعتقد اللي ويل بي لينكد تو ذا اكزام تايمز ويل بي ذا سليب ديبريفيشن chronic, um, like being awake for multiple nights, perhaps missing the doses. And um, uh, we wouldn't be increasing the medication dose. Uh, yeah, I don't think, but uh, practice can differ from one individual, but I don't think it is uh, want to give justified them? that we increase the medications. Uh, what about so, uh, Muhammad, how can you counsel a mom with all these um, queries in half an hour appointment? Uh, no, Dr. Maha, you, you know, uh, some uh, clinics do very nice thing, uh, uh, leaflets, small leaflets, um, and they are uh, giving to any mother uh, of an epileptic child. It's very nice. In Arabic, of course, uh, about uh, the most common uh, situations that may uh, have. This is the best because it is, yes, it's very long uh, conversation. In <laughs> practice, as you said, this is what's happening here. Barra, in the UK, they uh, added um, a role to the um, epilepsy um, life for a role of the advanced clinical nurse practitioner, um, epilepsy CNS. Uh, following the initial consultation with the consultant, they sit for 20 minutes with the CNS so they can provide all the information and they give them, they provide them with the leaflets, they provide them with the access, web access to the Epilepsy Society, Epilepsy Foundation. And then uh, eventually this is the link between the patient and the the um, the consultant is the uh, clinical nurse specialist. So maybe this is something about Mahzuzin one day in Egypt to have this. One more question, Dr. Mohammed. Thank you so much for his informative uh, lecture. We are going to ask the questions in the But I have a screen uh, guidelines. And we always say that you need to cover one eye when watching a, a screen or watching a, a playing a video game fee any scientific background behind covering an eye while watching a, yeah, yeah. a the scientific screen? background can it on the subject that can it in how entire of this but how in the other timing on the other screen on the eye like it can't be a lot of brain you know oh بس دايما نقول لهم خبوا عين وانتم بتتفرجوا ما كانش ليها سبب كنا دايما نقول كده ما كانش ليها سينتفك باك جراوند نو 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 لا 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 هي ما يس يس Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, unfortunately, Professor Mena uh, couldn't attend uh, for a certain purpose, so uh, our session will be closed, or what do you think?
اوكي اولا شكرا جزيلا لحضراتكم وببارك لاساتذتي دكتور حمد القياط ودكتور حامد شتله اساتذه الزملاء كلهم واحد واحد الف مبروك للمؤتمر باذن الله نجاح المؤتمر طبعا سعيده جدا بوجودي في الجلسه الاولى وبشكر الحقيقه زملائي دكتوره اوليفيا ودكتور محمد الدالي الحقيقه برزنتيشن رائعه سيمبل كويشن سيمبل انسر حاجه جميله جدا طبعا اويرنس مطلوب في كل التخصصات الحقيقه يعني شكرا جزيلا <تصفيق>